All right, so that's the progression I'm going to be showing you. Um, it's proper easy. It's like two finger chords all the way through, so like anyone can play it. Um, it starts off with the fourth fret on the fourth string and uh, the seventh fret on the fifth string. So, and then just the two open strings above them. So, um, the arpeggio pattern it just goes from the fifth string to the second string. Play up, and then um, again, and then back down to the fourth. So. So, it's, and it's pretty much that all the way through. So the second chord, you basically just switch your pinky to your second. So the the fourth string is still the same, and the fifth string changes from the seventh to the fifth. So. So basically it's just a series of bass note runs. So your fourth fret on the fourth string stays there all, all the way through. And you're just changing the fifth fret uh, the fifth strings. So it goes from seven to five and now to three. So and then instead of repeating and going back down, you change back to the fifth. So And then um, you go back to the third again. Oh, so you should have. So the next bit's the only bit that's mildly tricky, really. Um, You've still got the 4th fret down on the 4th string and you play the 6th string on the 3rd fret so you go from the arpeggio pattern is 6, 4, 3 so and then you go down a fret on the 6th so you're on the 2nd fret and the arpeggio, pattern, uh, the arpeggio pattern goes from 6 three, four, so. And then just, you do the open E string, so it goes. Um, so that's basically it. And to, um, to repeat, from the open E string, you don't play the fifth string. You play the, you go from the fourth, so it goes. back to using the fifth again. So yeah that's basically it. Um, there's a tab in the description if you want to look at that. And um, yeah.